Hi everyone! I started this page in the end of the last year while I needed to put something simple on the screen while I answered to the questions of the tech about 10 coloring books which I would take to the desert island. And since that time I intended to finish it because I really love it. First, I always love everything connected with airships or air balloons and in general I don't like to leave unfinished pictures, especially when I loved how I started them. I already mentioned in my previous coloring videos from this book that I have a soft spot to everything with a steampunk theme and I think that this love started from my childhood love to the books of the Jules Verne. Of course, not of his books were steampunk style, but inventors or genius engineers or very advanced technologies and mechanisms always were presented in his books. My favorite novels were The Mysterious Island and Les Enfants de Captain Grant, or in English translation I believe that it's in a search of castaways. I started to color a sky with two shades, two hues of blue, and if I remember correctly, I used Prussian blue and night blue. On this paper, they work magnificently well, pigment floating after applying just a drop of water and I used a quite soft squirrel brush. So when I decided to complete this picture, I also started to work with neon colors and for the airship I used a gradient of colors from the flesh via orange to yellow to ochre saffron and for the shadows I used olive green. To emphasize the shape of the balloon, I left almost uncolored air in the center. For the smaller details and for the deeper shadows, I used Prismacolor pencils. And I got some comments that people have problems working with Prismacolors or other brands on top of Neocolors. And from my experience, it can be if you applied quite a thick layer of neocolor pigment and didn't dissolve it completely with water. So when I try to apply pencil on top of just a crayon without water, I also have this problem. But when I apply water and pigment is nicely dissolved, I can work on top of it with almost each brand of pencil. For the clouds I selected quite a traditional color combo of salmon pink, light cerulean blue and periwinkle. But after I covered black lines with white gouache, which is my most opaque paint, everything looked much better. Thanks to the nail colors, I was able to finish this page quite quickly and I'm also happy that I was able to deliberately walk very careless and strokes of the crayons helped me to create the uh, weathered look of the balloon like it's very well used and I believe that all steampunk things have to have this, this look, not to have to be very new and shiny. I am really glad that I got back to this book, that I finished this picture and now I have one work in progress less.